Okay, we have drawn all the parts of the clock, so it's effectively finished um, in terms of what we need to, to build. What we need to do now is to assemble it to make it look like a clock on the screen, uh, which involves moving the hands and putting them in the right place. Now, what I would like to do is, uh, I don't want the hands interfering um, and the lines getting deleted uh, by mistake, so using the group function I'm going to select each of the hands the lines that make up that hand and then use control G to group them and then select the other hand and use control G so each of the hands is now a separate little drawing in its own right the other thing we want to do in order to make the clock look more interesting and more realistic is uh, to change the line thicknesses everything is one line thickness at the moment um, so it doesn't give any kind of sense of depth so I'm going to select the outline um, if I select the whole uh, shape obviously everything's going to be dark outline I just want the outline of the, um, the clock on the outside face to be dark so I'm going to go edit ungroup or control U so now it's ungrouped and then I'm going to select the lines that I want to make thick so the outer circle I hold shift if I want to select something else I'm going to select that um, inner circle as well and then I go to the line tool at the top of the page here so here on the top ribbon you've got line and cold so if I click on line it allows me to change it to thick now, I don't want a two millimeter thick line, that's too much, so I'm just going to change it to one and see what happens. Now, you can probably see the line thickness has changed. Now, once I make that change, I have to remember to group it. So I drag select and I do control G to group the clock again. Now, once I understand what I'm doing here, I can select both of these at the same time, even though they're grouped as selected objects. I can then go line thick and change the line thickness on those as well. I'm changing it to one as a default. You can try different line and thicknesses to see which ones you like best. Okay, so I'm going to save that for now.